Welcome everyone to the NCAA D2 South Regional Press Conference for game one with head basketball coach of the West Georgia Wolves, Dave Moore, alongside junior Michael Zabatakis and Kadeem Jones. Uh, we'll get an opening statement from coach and then we'll open it up to questions right after. Coach, opening statement. Well, I thought it was, a, you know, we played these guys five times, so there wasn't a whole lot of um, guessing games. We knew in the second half they were going to come and make a run. You know, their big time guys stepped up, um, <clears throat> made some plays. And, you know, two minute mark, we needed to dig in and get some stops. We needed to dig in and get some big rebounds. You know, Tay hit the big shot. Um, it put us back up three, which was huge for us. And then we were able to get enough rebounds and, and Jalen, you know, to his credit, went to the line, a big time pressure situation, hit two foul shots, sealed the game. But, um, you know, credit to Valdosta State. They've had a great season. They, they've won a regular season championship, a, a tournament championship, and just a great team, a, a really well coached team. Um, couldn't be more proud of our guys for, for per persevering and battling in that second half and, and not giving in and, and uh, having a different outcome this time that we've had in the past. All right, and then we'll open it up to the floor for questions. Uh, Coach, Chris from Matt, you um, just talk about how big this was for the program here and get the first tournament win since 2015. Yeah, it's a big time. Just like we talked about, um, you know, at the end of the regular season after the first tournament wins, these guys right here have, have really helped us step this forward, this program forward. You know, when I got the job in 2018, a program, a lot of tradition, a lot of recent winning championships in 15 and 16 and say tournaments. And, and that's what the task was to get them back to that. Um, and, you know, with Mike and Dang and uh, Kadeem and Tay, and the guys that have been with us, Tommaso, um, you know, all their hard work is now paying off. Uh, and, and that's what you see here. And, um, you know, to, to win an NCAA quarterfinal on the other team's floor after we played them four other times, um, it's just a big time win and, and it could be proud of the guys. And uh, you talk about your seniors stepping up, Harate with the huge three there, uh, 23 seconds left. Talk about how how big that was for him and just being a leader on the team there. Yeah, he was due and he had a great night, you know, five for 10, um, four assists, two turnovers, had 13 big points, three for 63. And that last one that, that really, you know, really was a big dagger. You know, we missed that shot, it's a tight game, they come down and now they're in control. You know, he hits that shot, now we're in control. We need one stop. We need to make our foul shots. And that's what happened. And couldn't be more proud of Tay and, and his courage there. And, uh, he was due to stick one just like that. And then uh, rebounding. You talked about that uh, last week's game. You guys win the board, battle of boards by 10. Uh, yeah. Uh, how key that was tonight. Yeah, I mean, it was big time. It was big time. It was actually 11. I, what I got in front of me, 41 to 29. You know, 32 defensive rebounds. You know, last time we, we lost these guys in the last game, we get 17 defensive rebounds. You know, tonight we get 32. Uh, and that's 32 stops. That's the difference, you know. And, um, we were minus 49 on the glass in the last three games against these guys combined, minus 16 and some change per game in those last three games. So for us to, to win the glass like this, you know, we were into it. And, and this guy to my left here uh, with 10 big rebounds led the way. Michael, uh, just for you, how, how the game last week ended, obviously a bad taste in your guys' mouth. How big was this to come back, have an opportunity to come back and, uh, you know, beat a, a big-time rival in the first round of the tournament? Well, it's great because, um, like you said, when we lost to them last week, um, we, had a good, we had a good opportunity to win that game, and we didn't make the plays that we needed to. So, like you said, there was a bad taste. So, um, when we saw that – we get to play them again in the first round today. We we're real excited that we could try to get some, um, like, you know, get them back and uh, try to get right what we um, kind of gave away last week. Uh, both, you know, you guys struggled offensively starting out. What was the key to turning that around? Well, um, I think, well, we, we all stay in the gym and we, we work hard on our, on our skill level and things. So, when we start missing shots, we don't really get down on ourselves and try not to worry about it because we know that we put in the, the work in the gym. And also we have a lot of unselfish guys that we know, you know, for the most part, we're going to be taking good shots and we're going to be sharing the ball. 
So as long as we're taking good shots, if they're not falling and, and whatever, it'll come because, you know, it, that's just how the game goes. And for Kadeem, just talk about how, how special was this for you to, to be at Valdosta and be in the NCAA tournament and keeping moving on? I, it was very special. I mean, like this team, we're all brothers. I mean, we, we stick together. I mean, our chemistry, you know, ever since our streak started, it's just been getting better and better. So, you know, it's, it, it's very special for me to help, you know, lead this team and just, just keep it going, really, you know, keep the momentum going and, you know, got another one to Got you then. Uh, Coach uh, Sasser and Barnes have been solid all year off the bench. Tonight they're really big. So how how crucial that was to – Yeah, I mean, you know, the bench was big tonight. You know, J.J. Barnes goes three for four, nine points, seven rebounds in 16 minutes. Jalen Sasser goes six for seven, 15 points, four boards in 17 minutes, three for three from the foul line. We outscore them 24 to 12 from the bench, and that's the difference. You know, that's, that's big-time production. That's what we've been about all year long, our guys coming off giving us great minutes, um, you know, and, and throw Tavion in there, was battling, was really active. Um, our bench has been critical for us all year long, and they were again tonight. Thank you. Mike and Kadeem, uh, you guys had that big lead and Valdosta was able to claw back. What was said in the huddle during timeouts to kind of keep your guys' composure and get the win tonight? I mean, it was the big thing was, you know, remembering what happened the week before, you know, we just basically like, you know, we're not letting this happen again. You know, we, we're going to fight through it. You know, that was that was the biggest thing, you know, every, every day at ball, we like, come on, you know, rebounding is like our, our key thing, you know, playing defense. Cause I mean, you know, you're not going to make every shot, but defending, you know, I'd also say it's like a big thing. So, you know, it was just defending and just cleaning up the glass, you know, we just sticking together, you know, and trying to get it done. Yeah. And also another thing is, uh, even though we blew the lead a little bit, we still had to remind ourselves, like, in the situation, like, we're still up one. If we look, if we got rid of whatever just happened to blow the lead, we still have the lead. You know what I'm saying? So if we're put in that situation, we need to just be able to handle it and finish the game the right way. Any final questions? Yeah. All right. That'll, that'll conclude the press conference. Uh, Coach Mike and Kadiem, congrats on the win and best of luck moving forward. We appreciate it, guys. We'll be right back for Valdosta State's post game press conference. Sit tight.